A pole vaulting disaster crushes one small town's holiday spirits. Annyeong Haseon, welcome to Awful Advent, a countdown of 13 holiday horror movies for the 13 days before Christmas. This year's theme is Scary Santas, and our ninth film is a contemporary reflection on AI gone wrong. It's 2022's Christmas Bloody Christmas. A robotic Santa made from military technology reverts to its original programming and stalks a record store owner through town, killing everyone who gets in its way. Christmas Bloody Christmas opens with a handful of fake ads, the first being one for a malt beverage for the entire family. The final one is for Robo Santa Plus, the animatronic Santa made from military technology now deployed to your local shopping center. These two ads have a nice dark humor that suggests the movie is going to be similarly heightened, maybe a satire a la Robocop criticizing the militarization and corporatization of America, or an exploration of absurdity a la Repo Man or Terminal City Ricochet. Instead we get hipsters being interminably arch and sarcastic. Initially I liked it. The snappy back and forth is a deft way of defining these characters' relationship to each other. They have a closeness that not only allows insults and ribbing, but also a language of references that speaks to their shared context. The problem is Christmas Bloody Christmas never transitions out of it. Everything remains sarcastic and arch to the point that I quickly became exhausted with these characters. So what's it like watching them die? This is a movie about a robotic Santa on a murderous rampage after all, and honestly, that rampage is pretty good. The kills are over the top, and the victims turn into obvious puppets moments before the kill shot, making the deaths goopier and more cartoonish, exactly what they're supposed to be. And this is where the movie is fun. The kills are tense and unrelenting, with new characters popping up only to be immediately killed. Very, hello, splort, hello, splort, hello, splort. The potential for the absurdity promised by those opening ads finally seems to emerge. And then it just doesn't. And that's my general criticism of the film. It opens up the potential of what it could be, and then doesn't deliver. It's never the goofy satire suggested by the opening advertisements, the characters never more than pop culture cataloging hipsters, and even the cartoonish violence becomes visceral and realistic in the final sequence, stripping away the final source of silliness in this movie about a robotic Santa Claus made from military technology whose programming has gone bad. The violence is fun, and the characters are relevant, so it's perfectly suited to be on in the background at a solstice party. Beyond that, though, it's a movie that's often too earnest for its own good. Three out of five cyborg Santas slaying sarcastic staff. Tomorrow we go back to the well again, again! Until then, stay safe and stay spooky.